Hey, how goes it? So, uh, as you can see, things are a little bit more dreary now. I, uh, I said screw it, I had to go with the spooky theme. Uh, if you look closely, there's actually a pretty heavy fog on the ground, which is possibly beneficial? I don't know yet. It's pretty spooky. I like the spooky. I'm gonna have to deck this place out with spooky stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, we decided to go with that. Um, it's still technically the first day of the new past patch. It's the 17th, but it's 15 minutes to midnight. I'm tired, I'm too out of it to play. But, uh, I wanted to grab my mines before bed, and then I realized that we had been attacked, and we won four times. So, uh, we're gonna watch some replays and see if the patch has done anything to affect, uh, the total gameplay here. Um, Zelcor says, new patch ain't good, no XP, money, etc. While I can agree that that's kind of annoying in some aspects, you're level 25, I'm level 20, and you guys rob me blind. Uh, it actually took me a lot longer than expected to upgrade some stuff just because my caches were getting depleted every day. Um, and I don't show nearly the uh, amount of people who attack me. I mean, this list goes forever. And these are only the ones that it kept up until a week ago. So, as you can see, I get attacked a lot. And, uh, e eventually I run out of money. In fact, frequently I run out of money. So I'm okay with this. You guys can still attack me. You can get on the show and, you know, have some fun. And I get to keep my money. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't actually make any progress in the game. So uh, we're going to watch these, and it's uh, it's pretty good here. We have uh, two archers, a uh, uh, mage, and a knight. Um, one didn't make it very far, and he's uh, the one that attacked us, like, outright in uh, matchmaking. The other three are, uh, I'm, I'm assuming subscribers, uh, I recognize some of your names, but, uh, yeah, like I said, it's midnight, I'm pretty tired. So let's watch this guy first. Uh, unfortunately, I just now bought the, uh, the new thing, so it's not as spooky as it could be. I'm excited to get the new spooky ones. Alright, how long do we have? They give us just... Oh, I'm guessing it's gonna be 5 minutes and 15 seconds. What kind of crossbow is he using? Can't quite tell. So... He's only got a limit of 4 potions, but I don't think he's gonna get very far. Considering he only goes for another 30 seconds or so. I don't know, 40 seconds. Good leap. Unfortunately, that is the wrong direction. <laughs> so he's not rotating the camera at all, which is kind of neat. Um, the minimap doesn't seem to be helping him super well. He just pulled the eyes and the uh, other guys. So yeah, I like not. I like being attacked by non-subscribers. Oh wow, he didn't even. Hmm. All right. Well, that works, I suppose. Um, we'll start at the top here, and then we'll go through each of you guys. Well, right, we're gonna be watching at full speed because I need to. Add, or at yeah, normal speed because I need to actually analyze now to see how the castle's working, so it's 5 minutes and 20 seconds. That's not so bad. For the amount of stuff that I have in here, I'm okay with that. He's analyzing. Okay, use of the bear trap, but uh... I notice he's got two stuns, actually three stuns on his uh, hotbar here. Uh, Bear Trap got slightly nerfed in one way and improved in another way, so wow, we killed him in the first room. Uh, he is low level for this castle by quite a lot. So, uh, good on him for actually attempting. 
um, bear traps now shoot closer to the, uh, jeez. Uh, they land on the ground closer to the archer, but they have a longer cooldown, and I think they cost 10 less mana to use. Let's check. Yeah, they cost a little bit less mana. I don't remember exactly how much, but they're definitely a little cheaper. Also, as they, uh, as you rank it up, it will get more and more bear traps, up to seven bear traps or something like that. It's going to be kind of ridiculous. If you uh, use it right, it could be horrifying. <coughs> By right, I mean shoot it horizontal to what you want to walk through them, rather than a row in front, like how he did. If he had shot them this direction, or stood on one of the ends of this, not that it's going to help against snipers. But, uh... Standing, so things have to walk through all three. Pretty effective. It's the same general concept as uh, making someone stand through. Uh, that was pretty good. Making somebody go through all the monsters. All right, let's speed this up. Uh, that's two potions so far. Okay, we actually saw some utilization of the. Uh, That is three potions. But we saw some utilization of the camera angle change, which is kind of interesting. Now, can those guys be affected by that? Because they levitate. I don't think they can. Interesting. It's kind of good. Although they can be affected by caltropes. Oh, wow. That hurt. Trying real hard, but uh, just unfortunately a little bit too high of a level, I think. Let's speed this up a bit more. Kites these things around for quite a while. Yeah, just too low level. I want to see him get through this room, I just know it's not going to happen. Well, he might get through the room, but uh, I'm not going to get too much further than that. That guy's stuck on the wall over there. Unfortunately, he was just too low level for that. Um, we'll go to the exact opposite of such things. At a level 25, five levels higher than the castle. Oh, unable to replay. Come on, please work. I want to watch it. And we give one more try. Oh, that's disappointing. Well. Let's go here. Please let this one work. Oh yeah. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so we see him switching the camera right off the bat. Pulling all the things. All the uh mines. Maybe I should pick healer in here. That sounds like some kind of idea. Or at least something that resembles an idea. Not as low health, although he got turned around as well. And here come the Stairmasters. Unfortunately, he's killed almost everything already. He's at half health, which isn't bad. Ooh, wow, took a lot of damage there. Perfect. That healing blow thing that he's got there is uh, really, really useful. Got him back up to half health after that. <laughs> wow, he managed to pull the uh, the sniper. Not that it actually did any good at that point. I think putting this here, good idea. Hmm. He 
is interesting. I'm actually killing more people after the patch, which is, uh, or at least doing more damage after the patch, which is incredibly surprising. Man, those Stairmasters. Damage being dealt is amazing. Alright, so he comes in here, he's just pulled all the healers and a bunch of those guys, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. Ooh, and there he goes. Look us back up, he's gonna finish this. Alright, so... This healer's doing an okay job. I think we need to put more healers in here, that would be a good way to do it. So, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of snipers. It's so much faster than your uh, one. Uh, didn't quite pull it. I don't. I guess mines do still block, but that's okay. Hmm. He's getting hit pretty hard. He's already past the time limit. I don't think he's died yet. But, uh... Look, there's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, did I put a healer in here? I don't remember. Ooh, that was close. He is out of potions now. And he's gonna beat these guys to a pulp and be done with it. Still, we beat him with plenty of time. Spin that camera. Nice. Alright, well that's a... That's a good start. I really want this replay to work. I wonder why it's not valid. Hmm. That's really strange. It's from nine hours ago, same time as this one. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well. So, uh, let's change a couple things real quick. Now, I know I said this was kind of cheap earlier, but now with the, uh... Well, screw it. I just want to see what it'll, what it'll do. Uh, also, it's going to be a good way to uh, throw you guys off. I'm going to sneeze. Ugh, oh, that was unexpected. Uh, I'm going to edit that out so you guys don't have to have your ears blown out. Alright, so here's the idea. I'm going to do this. I can actually tuck these guys pretty far in the corner and maybe get an even better effect. But uh, I've never actually done the cheap Scorpio pull that everyone supposedly does. So I want to try it out and see what it's like. Uh, we're going to change this, actually all Scorpios, to... Uh, oh, what? Hi there. How are you doing? You, uh... Want a hug? I mean, you're, you're a cutie, but... Alright, so let's just uh, go back to doing this here. I'm just gonna move him. Alright, we're gonna have to do a little bit of playing around here. What if we put him here? Rotate. Bone Puppeteer. And then this should be one thing. Uh, I'm gonna drop one more guy in here just to make sure. Yes, it is. 
All right, let's remove that. Uh, I can drop one more healer in here, which would be probably useful. Actually, no, I can't, because now I have extra snotters. I could do this, maybe. No, I can't, actually. I need them as they are. Alright, we'll just do that. So this is now going to pull him, which in turn will hopefully pull him, pull them into this. And then they have snipers. If not, then they're not going to hopefully see the snipers coming. At least, you know, people who aren't you guys, and I'm not worried about defending against you guys now. <coughs> so... Um... You know what, let's be incredibly annoying. We're gonna do the, uh... Oh god, now this one wants a hug. Hey there, buddy. How are you doing? I wonder what would happen if... Well, research. I think hunger bots are on my list. Yes, they are, so this is gonna be an interesting glitch if we get it. I'm gonna put him there. I wonder if upgrading will change his appearance while he's in the glitched animation. Um, because I want to upgrade this guy anyways, and I have plenty of life force right now, so this is going to make it so it pushes things further back, and uh, all kinds of stuff, so let's... Oh, it, uh, it reset his animation, and then he went right back to it. I like that, that looks good. Huh. Alright, so that's, uh, oh, they're yellow now, that's kind of neat. Hmm. All right, interesting. Oh, well, okay, he's stuck like that. Um, wait a second. Okay, yeah, that's how it should be. Do I have any more around here? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, this guy died. I should pick up that. What do we get for it? Yeah, that's a good thousand. Um, let's see. If I get rid of two of these guys. And then I drop a, where are you, Bone Puppeteer into the mix. Let's move some stuff around. There. Let's do that again. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I can't see any reasons not to do that. Um, we're doing pretty good here, we're doing pretty good there. We can always throw more stuff in here. This guy still wants a hug. So, um, I don't know what's causing that, but I'll... Hopefully the, uh, the guys at Ubisoft Montreal will see that. Um, it just seems that whenever... You change stance, he, uh, wants a hug. Um, let's see, what else can we change right now? Uh, we got three points, we could drop a healer in here. I think we originally had one, didn't we? No, maybe not. Where are you? There you go, little buddy. Hmm. Let me think, what else? Hmm, we got all the points. Let's make sure we've got all of our traps set. We're missing some traps back here. We could really do for that. Um... Yeah, why not? We'll just throw a minefield down here. Just to act as uh, something to slow and be annoying. These aren't really that useful. Um, in fact, what I think I'm going to do, because I think it will adjust the amount of time that they have. I'm not sure, i got to check this. But I think the number of traps adjusts the amount of time that they have. Uh, we'll move some stuff around, because I want to put this flame thing in the middle. So we're going to move this that way, 
that over one, because that's all we can do. And I just can't quite get it to fit in there. Hmm, oh well. I guess we'll go back to what we had. I do like a couple of flame traps though. Hmm. Let's just collect all this stuff up, I suppose. Let me see. Yeah, he's just kind of doing his thing there. Um, alright, we're going to call that successful. We'll test it out, see how it's doing. Uh, let's upgrade some more stuff while we got the uh, life essence. We need to upgrade some traps. This needs to be upgraded. A little bit more fire damage can't hurt. Uh, corrosive mines are coming soon. What do these actually do? It causes four mine or contains four mines, hidden trap, crystal puddle damaging that much per second, reduces the hero's armor and damage by half. That's pretty nice. We might be using these. Uh, do we have these unlocked now? Well, let's figure out in a second. Let's uh, first we'll do this. Because those are very useful. Um, at least they're a lot more useful than they used to be. Let's see, traps. Yeah, we have corrosive traps now. Um, where do I want to put corrosive traps? What if we replace one of these with a corrosive mine? Just to kind of test the waters. Actually, you know what? Can I squeeze this any further in? I might just be able to if I do it just right. Let's scoot this over here as far as we can get it. Come on. Can't quite get it. Can I move this minefield elsewhere? Probably not. What if I tuck this minefield in the corner like that? I th think that's actually more effective. Alright, we're gonna have to... Just drop that like so, and then... That will, with any luck, protect these snipers. I'm hoping maybe they'll stick themselves in the corner and not come running out so far. Um... And thinking about how the snipers are going to move. I want to put this as far over that way as I can. Because I would rather it uh, hits the player from here, but I don't think it will. What if we do the opposite? What if we take it and we do this? Can this shoot through walls? I'm not quite sure. Well, we'll just have to call that good and adjust this back the way it was. Yeah, that'll work. Um, hmm. That's good because we want some damage there. That's fine because why the hell not? This is doing its job here, preventing this from being a pool corner. Uh, this is being slightly annoying. Yeah, I can't really complain with what we got right now. I think it is about as good as it can be. Um, we're gonna need to upgrade maybe architecture and some other things later as well. Let's research some more stuff. Who wants an upgrade? Nothing here that we currently use. Um, I'm thinking about using, was it Mega Mutton at some point? Yeah, Mega Mutton seems pretty decent in open areas. I might replace something in the boss room with a Mega Mutton at some point. Uh, cause it leaves flaming trails behind that are pretty badass. Um, Squidly's need an upgrade, but that's not really that crucial. Hmm.
Are traps more important right now? It's a lot of damage per second to have on those. How many of those do we have? Right now we have a couple. This one would be really handy to upgrade. Right, let's see how much a Mega Mutton costs. See if we can replace some boss stuff with one. Oh, they put the IMAX in. Nice. Slow attack speed. Ball is... Hmm. So we don't have the Mega Mutton yet. I have to upgrade one more time. It's not really that big a deal. We can do that tomorrow, maybe. Um, I kind of want to put an IMAX in. 14 points. Get rid of two of these guys and maybe something else. Two of these guys and a sniper. Uh, they're going to be constantly moving, so I might need to rethink the whole boss fight. Let's see, 12. We could put those in a cut, or a mega button, an IMAX, and something else. Could be a good boss fight. Um, sure, we'll buy the IMAX right now. Let's, uh, just for the sake of seeing what the hell it does. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just like a Stairmaster, but better. Uh, we're gonna check these two. Um, the chicken is unnecessary. Okay, 23. We'll lose one more sniper. Alright. Go here. Go to IMAX. Uh, I love him. Okay, and we can put one more something else in there. I wonder how annoying he'd be as a displacer. How much... No, no, him, I want him. He's got a fair amount of health. That only shoots in a line. That would be really annoying. I love beholders, so... Even though he's kind of a little stumpy beholder... I mean, who wouldn't want a beholder in their dungeon? That just kind of makes sense, you know? Um... Put another one of them. Alright. We'll see how this does. I think the teleporting one will be good. Because it'll buy time, if nothing else. And uh, these guys can take pot shots. I mean, there's still four archers, so... And I'm gonna space them out and do some weird stuff so they shoot at different times. And hopefully this teleportation thing will work pretty well. Um... Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a replay or two to check out. And, uh, yeah, I am going to probably go to bed now, because it's 12.15 at night. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what we do tomorrow.